Yo, so guys, welcome back to another reaction, and this is to the US versus Panama game. I just done a reaction to the Canada game, and that was pretty wild. Again, they had they won by an absolutely huge margin, and this is the same. I didn't watch the highlights, but I did know Pulisic scored a hat trick, as I can see here. Didn't know it was two penalties, but again, a hat trick is a hat trick. And he's like, what is he like the top? F How many games has he played for the US now? Let me just see this. I swear I saw something that he's like the fifth highest goal scorer in US history already. Possibly, I, don't, I might be wrong with that, but I mean, yeah, 21, that would make sense. Let me just see. It usually shows on Wikipedia. I always look at this stuff. It usually shows like the highest scorers and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think he is. He's actually the fourth highest scorer already. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, no, he's the seventh. I was actually quite far off of that. But he's closing in. And I mean, at this point, he could easily get... How old is he? He's 23, right? Yeah, he's 23. So he's got a long time. If he can get his injuries out of the way, and you can look at that sort of ratio to goals scored to games played, he could easily get... I say easily. He, he could get um, the, the record, I guess. But yeah. Uh, fuck, I just deleted it. For God's sake. Um, North American World Cup qualifiers. I just want to look at the teams. Do you look at the stats... To be fair, Panama actually do dominated the possession. I don't know what, how this sort of seemed in game. Did they actually seem dominant, or was it just sort of one of those things where the US were just sort of sitting back and just like comfortable? You know what I mean? I mean, I guess they were. They were four. They were five. They were four nil up within, well, within half time. They were three nil up within twenty seven minutes, which is pretty wild. So it looked like it was quite comfortable, but it looks a lot more even on the stats. But again, you can't just judge it off that. But looking at the team. Missing some of their better players, to be fair. You've got Tyler Adams. You've not got McKenney. He's oh, he's got a really bad injury, hasn't he? Wasn't like he's, a kid. he's out for months. Would he miss the World Cup? He's out for... He's, like, got a really bad injury. I always find it so weird seeing this guy. Like, he used to play for Fulham. And now he's, like, balling out in the area of It's good to see, though. It's good to see. But, so you've got him. Adams and Musa got more don't know much about this guy to be fair um zimmerman robinson and robinson and then pulisic ferreira and Ariola. actually they're missing a lot of their starters to be fair they brushed them aside but saying that panama aren't the best team in qualifiers and the u.s have just qualified as well so if you're you're from the u.s or you're watching the game let me know how you're feeling man must feel good to be back in the world cup i'm buzzing for the world cup i'm just sad it's not in the win in the summer and it's in the winter. So it's just a longer wait. But it's going to be so good, man. I hope Portugal qualify today. Because I love Ronaldo. And I think... I just like the best teams in, to be honest. I hope Portugal qualify today. But a World Cup without Ronaldo. That would make me so depressed, man. I hope so. I really hope they win. Um, but I'm just excited for the World Cup, man. And this is the highlights. Um, I'm going to have to skim through this. Because this is actually just a random channel. Which will probably get blocked. So I'm going to have to skim through it and stuff just to sort of watch the key, key moments. But yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy. And let's just jump into this. It's like eight dominant outscoring the opposition. 11 to host and way out right now. Need only a point. And they would book a top four spot. But you want the ease of being in the top three and not having to worry about an intercontinental playoff in June. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I just think this might get copyrighted, so I'm just going to sort of skip through that. So yeah, this is beforehand. So actually, you see this beforehand. If the US lost, and bear in mind, Panama could have actually still qualified if they won. Oh, damn. So this is actually a really, really high-risk game. Flipping hell. Well, damn, I didn't actually realise that beforehand, but... So yeah, that shows actually how high risk it was. And then if Costa Rica won their last game. Damn. Okay, I didn't realise that. But um, so yeah, they won 5-1 on a high risk game like that. Fair play. Karaskia having a hit. Christian Pulisic numbers are up. Pulisic blocked. One back by Ariola. Karaskia is all over. Free kick US in a great position. USA strength in qualifying. All three goals though in the last game. And that one's going to be up. Oh. And lifted up. Miles Robinson. It bounced around. It's still in play. Ferreira. That the hell happened there? Zimmerman was down on the ground holding his face. Right now. Is that the penalty then? VAR. 
Play on the other way. The U.S. a man line in defense right now. Oh, he has clotheslined him. Peno, PK, come on. I like Pulisic, man. I really like how he plays. One of those players that I love watching. Oh, shit. What? Just randomly skipped to this. Cleared away finally. Stefan slow to get up. still down. God damn. Panama's bench once again. Packed out. Advantage played. Anthony Robinson's cross for Ariola. That's a header, man. That's a that's a that's a really good goal, actually. That's a perfect header. Jeez, man. I don't, know about, I don't know much about this guy, but that's a really good head of man. Jeez. Big money trade in the offseason to go to Dallas, and he's been red hot along with Hayes. Kabar, Pulisic looking for the space. Hands that was a nice play. Oh. More cutting it back. Oriola knocked down. Ferreira's there. 3-0 <laughs> United That's States. so funny to see, man. That's just peeking around everywhere. Just goes to his feet. By this point, they must have already known we're, we're, we're through, man. We're qualified. That must be such a good feeling to just play the rest of the game. Just relaxed, isn't it? Davis hooking in that cross. Stefan lost it. Oh, good save, though. Barcenas was there. Terrible mistake, but that's a banging save. Recovery. Back. Davis is cute. Names realistic to choose from it. Musa under pressure. Just got away. Or trying to help recover. Roll back in. Good boy. Ariola waiting for it. For <laughs> he shinned that into the sky. Davis deflected I know that feeling, man. Robinson, Mario's running in. Try to get there, and Mejia. Godoy missed it. Zimmerman and Miles Robinson in there. They're shooting for Is that it? Oh no, he is. He, he, is it? Second of the night. Oh yeah, he's holding him by the neck. Second, it would appear against Anibal Godoy. That's a weird one. I mean, I can definitely. Uh, that is apparently like he's holding him by the neck, but at the same time, it's. Such a weird angle, like it's not like he's choke holding him, he's just sort of holding down. But I guess when you're doing it to the neck, you can't really say it's not a peno. Some silly First fouls they're giving away. That's the crazy thing is this is what they've done against England in the World Cup. They gave away some really stupid penalties. Really I remember that actually. It was like when we won 7 0, they gave away some really dodgy penalties. Yes! Just about. I saw this. <laughs> I can't lie, I love Pulisic, but his penalty, his celebrations are so weird, man. He on the gritty the other day, and I was like, what is going on, man? This is not how you do it. Not like I want to say, but... There's even a little smile after the first push of, hey, we got you guys. We, we've got you. It's 4-0. Look at this. There's a little push. And... Okay. Oh, they got some beef then. Let's hear for the man in charge, U.S. coach Greg Berhalter live. With Jesus Ferreira, Gio Reyna, chance, and he pulls oh. it wide. Reyna's tall, man. He's got. He's definitely grown since he's like first burst. Jesus Ferreira, Gio Reyna. He looks huge. How tall is Reyna? Um, Giovanni Reyna. He is tall. He's one eight five. Wait. How tall is Rashford? Because I know Rashford's quite tall. Like he's one of those players that grew quite a bit later on. He, but he's huge. He's definitely grown since like he made his debut for Dortmund, right? He's tall, tall. Like he's like. Wait, let's just meters to. I don't know why I've done meters. Meters to feet. So he's one eight five. Six foot. He's like pretty much six one then. I didn't realise he was that tall. Can't Look at that dude. But he looks wide. huge here. Terrible it's shot though. So is that his weak Except foot? Because that weak foot is not working, man. Moving. One two touch. You see all the panty made. That they've got a chance, albeit a very long one. Down for Reina. Delatore got inside his man. Back. Is that, that Delatore there? He looks Reina. quite 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 cold. Delatore cold got inside his man. Cuts it in. Sotero. Oh, it's coming to get him. Now it's crossed with a little bit of a deflection. Robinson stabs it away. Maria holds it in. But anyway, would have been offside. Quintero. 
intercepted by Evidenson. Really feels like a trusted guy. Jack Moore looking to shoot. <laughs> oh, he just thought, fuck it, why not? We're 4 0 up. Why not, man? I respect it. Really feels like a trusted oh, guy. Damn it, man. That's a howl, bro. Oh, from Jesus Ferreira. Again, sorry I'm skipping it so much. I'm just trying to avoid like the second. That's in the back of the net. What a pass! Getting this video blocked. Oh! <laughs> that is naughty, man. <laughs> what? That is crazy. Bro, this deserved. You know that Burkamp goal when he scored like Burkamp, Burkamp. That deserved that sort of commentary, man. What Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Oh, that's not a replay, man. That's a goal. Oh my days. That's a flipping goal, man. That's not just a goal. That's a goal. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Oh, that is disgraceful, man. The LeBron James of soccer. Come on. <laughs> that is... See, I don't know if he meant... Um, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him the benefit of the doubt. This touch here... So when he touches it, when he touches it down... Do you think he actually meant for it to sort of go behind? He, he must have. Yeah, because he predicted it. It's sort of... See, this is these top-level athletes, like, like footballers, man. You sort of, like, you think, like, this stuff happens at five aside, and you sort of know it's an accident. Sometimes it's not. But you can just sort of only just, I guess, assume that this is purposely done. That's a... That's crazy, though. That's such a nice goal. He even gets the nutmeg as well. Come on. That's a terrible angle. I can't see anything. That's better. Even the finish too, man. That's nice. Oh, so th that was the record then. He was like fifth in the qualifying goals. And he's, what, 23? That's, yeah, he's number one for that. Probably by four years' time, to be honest. Bloody hell, man. Who's going to be careful? It's got to be Torres now. I'm so gassed about that. I want to watch it again. Tonight, Davis hooks that cross in too far. The second ever. Morris in. A hop and pop in the stands. Gio Reyna has it now. Gio Reyna oh. over the bar. I can't get over how much taller he looks. Reyna has one of these. Whips it in. Good eye. Good header to be fair. Two first half penalties. And he's like the only player that I actually Panama's know for their team. Captain. And Panama get on the board. What the fuck? What's happened here? Um, but let's just see. Bro, I gotta see this again. I really hope this doesn't get blocked, man. Bro, you're taking the actual piss. That's such a flipping goal, man. That's such a gangster goal, bro. It's Everything is so perfect about it. Again, I want to watch it again, but I'm thinking if this gets blocked, this is going to be a mistake. But, mate, I'm so gassed about that last goal, man. Two penos, and again, still a hat-trick. But then you see that last goal, and it just it wipes the fact that there are penalties out, man. That's a perfect hat-trick in my book. There's not a header. There's not a volley. I don't care. That's better than any of that, man. He's just scored that goal. That's just a screamer, man. Pulisic is a world-class footballer. Again, he's the Le LeBron James of soccer. I've said it before, man. <laughs> Uh, Pulisic has become a dangerous football striker with Flair. I just wish for Chelsea. He wasn't played in, like, at fullback. Like, they got a stacked team, so I can understand why, like... Um, like, he doesn't play as much as maybe he should do because they've got a lot of good players. But, like, so where do you see positions played on this... Where do you see positions played? This year. So it doesn't actually say he's played as a fullback, but I guess with Chelsea's formation, he is just sort of labelled as a left winger. Doesn't actually show out how it is. But. Yeah, I just want to see this quickly. I just want him to get more minutes now, because again, when I watch him sometimes, I'm so like. 
he's just so good to watch, man. He really is such a fun player to watch. Like his dribbling is so good. He's still so young. He's 23. He's still got a good, what, 10 years, like, hopefully at his peak, maybe a little bit less because wingers rely on their pace and maybe when his pace is gone, he'll struggle more. But, yeah, what what a little reaction. I enjoyed this a lot. I wish there was a video like this for the Canada, Canada game, but sadly there wasn't. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts if you are, you are a US fan or you're from the US. And, I mean, yeah, you're going to the World Cup. Let's go. But, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.